The subject of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam cannot be understood in isolation. No. You cannot understand this subject without an understanding of the bigger subject of Akhirul Zaman. And in that bigger subject of Akhirul Zaman, or the end time, the major pivot, the heart of that subject is the return of Nabi Isa alayhi salam, the true Messiah. And so you cannot study the subject of Imam al-Mahdi without an understanding of the subject of the return of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And when you compare these two men, one is a Nabi, a prophet of Allah, who is known as Ruhullah, and the other is an Imam. And these two cannot be compared. And so it was something astonishing for me, something surprising, something which dismayed me when I visited Iran and I met in Qom with the scholars of Iran, the Shia scholars, and I found it strange that they could not understand that the simple thing, they could not understand it, that these two men cannot be compared. And so in Iran, Ilmu Akhir Zaman is known as Ilmu Mahdawiya. And for them, the supreme topic over which everything else revolves in Akhir Zaman is Imam al Mahdi. And that is wrong. But when we explain this to our Shia brothers, we do not do it with a sword in the hand. That's stupid. You will have to forgive my language because there are people who have eyes and yet cannot see. They have ears and yet cannot hear. They have hearts and yet do not understand. So you talk and you talk and you talk and you talk and it's just words for them. So you have to use strong language to try to wake them up. And if they don't wake up, you move them aside and you forward. You move on with them. That you do not address the Shia with a sword in your hand. Tell it to those donkeys. They are our brothers, the Shia. 